Um, I want to get something out of the way uh, with everybody that's sort of on a serious note, and I'm starting to sweat because I'm so nervous. We're engaged. <laughs> On a similar note, yet very, very different, uh, and I wanted y'all guys to hear it from me because I'm sure there have been rumors and a lot of stuff going on. Um, Sandy and myself are no longer engaged or together. Um, it, it was a very, it was uh, an adult decision. It wasn't a fight or an argument. It was something that was thought out. And obviously we meant a lot to each other. She still means a lot to me, and I'm sure I still mean a lot to her, but she's fine and I'm fine. And, you know, but it was something. I know a lot of y'all got to know Sandy and love Sandy. And she's amazing and always will be. And um, I, I know that I have y'all support and um, I hope y'all continue to support her as well because she's a fantastic girl. Uh, and like I said, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to bring that up with y'all guys. So thank you. And thank you for showing up and smiling and all y'all support. Being so good. <laughs> Just turn. Uh, so thank y'all guys so much for your support and uh, the support over the years and now continue. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna go cool off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> would, would it be tasteless to ask for her number? It would not, and <laughs> any woman would be very excited to get a phone call from me. Can anybody see my forehead? Yeah. I'm sure that's a weird question, but that, I don't, I, I need to start walking around with my own makeup. I'm shooting a movie in Austin, I'm shooting Friday the 13th, the remake in Austin, which is going really well. Woo! Woo! Really excited, I'm really excited about it. But um, we did a scene on Saturday where I'm fighting, I'm sure you can imagine who I'm fighting. <laughs> My face gets kicked through glass. I get my butt kicked, everything I do. I think someone's watching Supernatural and like, he looks good getting beat up. <laughs> so, uh, I go and get beat up some more. Um, yeah, we'll just... <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the first time I've ever felt inadequate. Yeah. Not the first time. Maybe not the first time. these up for you. And, you just, uh, yeah. uh, and we and I my face smashes through the glass. And I've done, you know, getting hit by bottles and skin and stuff like that. And we do the scene and I was like, that would kind of hurt. Guys. Like I don't want to make a big deal because here I am like trying to be tough. And, you know, there are girls there. And guys, just walking around like this the whole time. And I was like, that one kind of hurt. I don't know if that one like, is that candy glass for sure? Like, yeah, yeah, that's candy. I was like, okay, cool, 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 cool. And then sure enough, we wash off my makeup, and I was like, what is that? <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> so, and then y'all get a first peek of Jared makeup lens. So if it does turn out to be a scar or something, y'all get to have, because this was like 24 hours ago, 30 hours ago, so y'all get to have like first <laughs> Cool you, You're still just, beautiful. <laughs> just stick just around. Just, oh. I was all close stick around too. long enough, you get scars on your face, and pretty soon you get a new face. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so nervous. I, I had. I, I don't know why, but I knew y'all guys would be very supportive, and that means so much to me. But I can't stop. <laughs> Hurt when I was real close. <laughs> uh, I, will, I will accept group and individual hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Hot and sweaty is just fine. You have a shirt on underneath. Take off the I know, but yeah, what's going to happen is if I take this off, y'all are going to see just like dripping. That's okay. We go fine. Notice how I'm trying to be racing. <laughs> Up this morning. Anybody come in just today, or have y'all been enjoying the Texas sun? Uh, the whole weekend. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Is there wind here now? Oh, yeah. It's Austin. Were y'all, is anybody from here in Texas? Yeah. Go home, take home state. Um, but there was like a hurricane a week ago or a month ago. Yes. I was driving home in there. Did y'all experience? Uh, there were trees. Yeah. We were driving through. I mean, yes, and my buddy and my sister, she's about to move to San Francisco. She graduated college. Yeah. I'll have to show her little clips of like us about <laughs> And her car, like she was gonna sell her car, it got hail damaged. She's like, well, there, you know, thanks, nature. Um, thanks. But yeah, that was nuts. I guess it's all the way up here in Dallas then too, huh? Yeah, they, they came all this way, paid all this money to hear you talk about the weather. <laughs> brought up the wind, Jim. <laughs> Someone asked him what is happening. And you provided it. <laughs> I had a very big steak last night. So <laughs> no, not so well. Someone, now you know what let's, let's all say, Jim, what does your hat what does your hat mean? Jim, what does your hat mean? Damn fine now. <laughs> I totally fell for that. Someone, I keep on telling the story that about two weeks ago on set, someone was, I would keep on including myself in the group that was like playing a trick on somebody, but everyone, you know, smell, is that, is that a butt for? <laughs> What's a butt for? <laughs> so Jim just got me today with the video line out. So now I've been, What's a butt for? In a month's time. <laughs> I'm just not on top of my game. I'm filming nights. This is the time I'm usually going to sleep. Uh, and then another, my brother, for those of you who don't know, my brother's a doctor here in Dallas, actually. And so I call him and I'm like, I'm really tired. I was working like 14 hours and I got home at like 7 a.m. He's like, yeah, I've been working for 24. I'll probably get home at like 2 p.m. I've been here since. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Like, I'm all tired. be a setup. Someone <laughs> like Jared's coming. Turn the heater on. Oh, I, oh Kevin and Cricket. I'm cool. Oh I am way cool. Anybody have those little fans, little spritzer, like six five fans that you spray yourself? <laughs> Give me a cup of water. Wet t-shirt. <laughs> Have you ever considered a career in ballet? Very graceful. I am not. I'm not. I'm sure the way you do it. Well, that's why I don't do it. Who came from the farthest? I love this question. Scotland. Scotland. No way. We're in Scotland. Um, Glasgow, and she's from the very north of Scotland. If you go any further, you fall yeah. into the like sea. Like Inverness, or even farther. Really? Yeah. I love Scotland. We're moving to Castling Asylum, so we had to come too. Well, thank you. I, I, I'm very flattered. I love to say, say something in Glaswegian. <laughs> Then we're over in asylum either, mate. You heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> we're too far south for Gaelic. It's not. No. We speak like, aye. Yeah. Come on, Harshal. <laughs> no, no, we speak like. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things? I don't know what just happened. Can you not smile? What's he trying to swear? Can, 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 can you? Scottish people. Can you? <laughs> what Scottish? <laughs> Scottish. 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 It is 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 Scottish. Wow. Several funny stories, not even that funny. But 
when I was working for doing Gilmore Girls, Chad Michael Murray and I were doing a scene, and we were at the Warner Brothers lot, and they were doing a, a tour. And there was a tour, I guess, from Canada. And so we were all like, we were like, who are all those people? Like, what are they doing in Stars Hollow? And they're like, oh, some tour group in Canada. And Chad and I were like, Canadians? <laughs> <laughs> like, peeking around, like, there was some zoom. We were like, dude, Canadians, look. And they were looking at us like, you know, the show hadn't aired. They're like, who are these dudes? Like, voguing for us, because we're sitting there going, San Antonio, Texas, until I was 18 years old. Aww. Aww. No, no, I, I'm, I, I couldn't have been happy. I, I did not Neither like it. San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about in San Antonio, not when I left. <laughs> Anybody have any questions before we get into craziness? I knew that I wanted to yell one. Yes, please. The, the Kim Manners prank, did it ever go anywhere? It, you know what? It was going to go somewhere, and it will go somewhere. Oh. We were sort of instructed in no uncertain terms. Listen, Kim's uh, going to die if you pull a prank on him because he's so stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> but the last thing got really, really crazy at the, end of the, uh -huh. at the end of the show. And obviously we had those four episodes after the strike. Um, and there were just budget problems and timing problems. And they were getting me out for Friday the 13th. And they were getting Jensen out for my buddy Valentine. And, you know. Rushed. They were getting me out for unemployment. <laughs> Jim was like, listen, I need to be unemployed by April, so <laughs> to top. Uh, so we, uh, things got really crazy. Um, and not like it's never, not like it's really tense on the set of Supernatural or something. But we were all sort of, <laughs> what's, the, what's a more PC phrase than ball to wall? It's like whispering like this. <laughs> Things were very, like, long hours, and they were trying to rush, and we needed, like, 12 days to shoot, and they gave us nine, and so... Yeah, the Twizzler video got me kind of excited for it, so... Which is <laughs> when Jensen Twizzlers you? Uh, Don't Twizzler me! Don't Twizzler me! Yeah, that wasn't a Twizz... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kim, Kim Manners was very, very stressed out toward the end of the season. He pulled me aside at one point and said, uh, I have to work one more day with these two guys. <laughs> he probably did say that. <laughs> I'm sure Jim's kidding, but he probably did say that. <laughs> but we, but we're, we're brewing some, some nice stuff. I, you know what? Not only is that not, I'm not allowed to answer that, but it's not even really... Uh, I think certain yet what's going to happen. There, there are a lot of we're doing a lot of multiple. I think for the sake of not knowing, so we can't. What are, there was a phrase in Air Force One or something or Independence Day where he's like, "I'm the president. You didn't tell me about this." And like plausible deniability. So we're shooting a lot of different endings and a lot of different scenes, and I think they're going to um, sort of figure out what they like the most. But when I do find out, I unfortunately won't be able to say because Michael Bay is very powerful. <laughs> Lightning will strike me. Very, very bad. Okay. Am I sweating? Yes. <laughs> Jim, wait a minute. Is this one of those questions we've heard about? <laughs> okay, okay, apparently this is a legitimate question. I'm just, I don't know what it is. I'm just telling you, be prepared. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Well, uh, <laughs> she asking you? How do I feel about being a second or surrogate? Second? Yeah. Um, well, the checks keep clearing. And I figure, okay, I'll be a second father to you too, Jim. Oh, yes, I'm in. I'm in. I love working with the boys. <laughs> They're fine, upstanding young men, and they don't stress anybody but Kim out. I think it's cool.
cool. Yeah. I, I, I think that uh, the show um, really, I mean, this isn't talking about me, it's talking about the writing and, and the creation of the character. I think the show really benefits from Bobby because they, you know, somebody's got to string these two clowns out. And I think it works really well. What do, what do I, and I'll speak for Jensen because he's not here, feel about Jim playing Bobby and Bobby's one on the show. We obviously don't tell him, but we love Jim and he does a great job. And he brings, a, from from the first episode he was in, he brought a ton to the show. As you know, as you know, uh, as you know Eric Kripke has no problem killing off people. Killing off people we love, killing off people we hate, and everything in between. And so I think it says a lot about his value that he's... Not still alive. Yeah. But he dies in episode one. So. You haven't talked to them yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was sort of keeping that secret till like episode one. <laughs> I haven't talked to y'all guys since the finale. Yeah. Oh. Bad, good, Sam. I tried. <laughs> Not hard enough. Water sprinklers. <laughs> yeah, Bobby, y'all go in. I, uh, I got the sprinklers. Go inside, go inside. I'll, I'll be back here. I'll, I'll take the outside. <laughs> I'm gonna take my question. I'm tired of your question. Yes. Out of all of the. Out of all the films, are there any I would like to do with regret? That I regret? No. Um, Think again. <laughs> I often joke that, um, that you know, New York Minute was, but I don't regret it in any way, shape, or form. I think everything, I think, you know, obviously, especially with the events, of late in my life, you know, you got to go back and think: was it a waste of time, or what did I get? And I think it's, I think it's a, a bad um, mindset to sort of regret things, and and I think it just puts your mind in a bad place. And instead of looking back thinking, I wish I would have, or I wish I wouldn't have, I think it's more important to think, you know, how can I be a better person or a better actor um, because of what I did. So even if some of the stuff was tough and I got hurt or I was not proud of my work, you know, you go back and you say. Well, now I know, you know, not to go out the night before shooting a big scene, or now I know not to this, or not to that. So you learn and you become better. So I don't, I don't have any regrets. I think I'm full of hammy. When are those lessons going to start paying off? Like I'm holding them back. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to, to use everything I've learned. Yes. Well, we got you. Let's get you and then...